Hey guys, Coach Alex here with Physique Development, and today Sue and I are going to go over the cable lateral raise. Now, we use two different variations with the cable lateral raise. We have a low pulley option as well as a wrist height option, and we're going to go over both of those today. So we're going to get started with the low pulley option. Now, the cables themselves are going to cross, so you're going to pick up the cables with opposing hands, and the cables themselves are going to be set up as low as they can be on the pulley system. Now, one simple trick that we, we tell clients about is that these little balls here, they, get, they can get caught if you put them on the, the, the carabiner on the actual loop here. So if you put the carabiner right on the outside of the hole, or outside of the ball, at that point the balls do not um, run into one another. So you're not having any uh, miscues within the execution. Now, from here, what we're going to focus on is simply making sure that the cable is going to align directly through the, the joints. So we want the cable to run directly through the wrist, the elbow, and the shoulder joint. And as Sue goes out laterally, she's going to focus on driving outward, not up. So her first intent is going to be driving outward and not vertically. Now, with this as well, she's going to be simply hinging at the hips to allow for the medial delt to be targeted first and foremost. Now, oftentimes we will see within client execution that if the weight is too heavy, the individual will rotate and allow for the front delt to take over. So they'll, they'll rotate in this fashion to allow for the front delt to come into play. We want to make sure that the medial delt is in the gravitational pull to make sure that it is the uh, muscle that is moving the weight. So one last cue with the cable here is that when she is aligned with her hips here and as she's driving outward, we do want a slight rotation at the upper arm. Now you will hear the cue of pour the teapot out or something of that nature, but that is going to be a little excessive. You can drop it down. And it, it, with that excessive rotation, you're going to be biasing the rear delt and also putting the shoulder in a compromised position. So those are gonna be the cues that we utilize for the low cable lateral raise. Now we're going to move into the wrist height lateral raise. And, and the, the simple things here is that we're going to be biasing a different portion of the movement itself. Now, with this, we're simply going to be at wrist height, so wherever the cable is going to sit is going to be at wrist height or slightly below. Now, in the low cable pulley option, we're going to be biasing the mid-range of the lateral raise. With the wrist height, we're going to be biasing the lengthened position. So if you were to use this in a superset, this is a, a great option to um, you know, tax out the, the tissue in a different position. So she's going to follow the exact same cues, but it is going to be heavier in the lengthened position comparatively to the mid-range as we saw with the low cable pulling. Perfect. And that is the cable lateral raise.